Hey drone friends, this is Adam at UAV Coach and Drone Pilot Ground School. Happy Friday morning and welcome to our Drone Weekly News Roundup. I have four stories to share with you this week. Our first story covers a drone training program for veterans that has raised $150,000 in congressional funding. This training program seeks to help veterans become commercial drone pilots and find work in aviation and film. The program is called the Veterans Film Apprenticeship and it's run by the Atlantic County Economic Alliance or ACEA. One focus of the program will be on helping participants study for the FAA's Part 107 test. Funding for the program was secured with the help of New Jersey Senator Cory Booker. At a recent press conference in which the funding was announced, Booker said, I'm proud to secure funding for ACA's drone training program to provide veterans with in-demand skills training and job opportunities, as well as strengthen New Jersey's aviation and film industries. You can read the article linked below to learn more. This next story is a cute one. A UK nonprofit called Drone to Home is working hard to find lost dogs with drones, and they have now passed 1,400 rescues. Drone to Home first started when a drone pilot realized he could help people find their lost dogs with his drone. As word spread, more and more people came to him for help until he realized he needed support with the work. Today, Drone to Home has hundreds of volunteers and a unique training course designed to help people use aerial thermography to find missing pets. You can watch the full video down below to learn more about the Drone to Home story. Our next story focuses on an insanely talented artist and how he uses drones to create amazing art. His name is Ruben Wu, and he uses drones to create surrealistic images in the night sky capturing the light from a drone in different ways to make halos, rings, and other shapes. Last year, a picture he took of Stonehenge was featured on the cover of National Geographic. In this video, Wu talks about his process and a project he did on the Pastoruri Glacier in Peru back in 2018. Wu's vision is so unique that the shots featured here seem fresh and brand new, even though they were taken several years back. And finally, we're looking at some high-speed FPV footage of a drone flying through a very tiny gap. This drone pilot was zipping around an old factory and decided to thread the needle and fly through an incredibly small gap on this super fast run. This clip is short and sweet, but definitely shows off some very impressive piloting skills that'll give you goosebumps. And before we wrap up, here are some of the week's photo and video submissions to share with you all. All right, that's all we have for this week. As always, check out the links below to read more about each story. Also, show us some love by subscribing to our channel and liking this video. And now I'll pass it off to you. What do you think about the drone training program for veterans? And what about the nonprofit helping find lost dogs with drones? Comment down below, I'd love to hear your thoughts. I hope you all have a great weekend. And to all of our drone pilots out there, blue skies and safe flying.